guys, this is Escos Report here with a new video for you guys. Today um, I'm going to be doing a pretty fun, interesting video, so um, let's get started with this. I'm going to be showing you my Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball video game collection as of, as of right now. I have a few more games than what I'm showing you now, but they're in storage or whatnot, so I'll mention that. But let's get started with, the, I guess, the CDs that I got. CD kind of video games. First one. Dragon Ball GT Final Bout. There's a Japanese version for PlayStation. Um, the US version is pretty rare. The first release, like, it's actually the first Dragon Ball related game besides Dragon Power to be released in the US. So, uh, fans were so confused when it came out, but everybody was so after the US version. But this is the Japanese version, the more common one. And I played it on my US PlayStation. It, there's a really easy method to use to play the Japanese games. I used a disc swapping method and it worked, but yeah, it's a really easy game too. Like, I beat it in like an hour or two. It's like, it's so easy. And, and it's pretty shitty, but it, you know, it's very nostalgic. I used to play it on Bleem. I don't know if you guys know Bleem. That program, Bleem, that they used to, that I think Sony sued. Anyway, but I used to play it when I was little with that. But here we go. Yeah, I got that one. Next, I got here a PC Engine game, Japanese game. Um, it's called Indanaru Sangoku Densetsu. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. I never played it. Um, I'm just collecting the games. It shows like little pictures of them on the back. You know, these are like you know pretty rare because they're only Japanese games. They're never released in the U.S. and I have a lot of these just because I like collecting them. I love the more than anything. I really love the the art on the cover and that's another reason why I'm collecting these but they're cool okay next one I got is from for the Sega Saturn is Dragon Ball Z Shin Butoden see that there I never played this game either I, don't, I never even played Sega, anything Sega Saturn or nothing like that so I don't know but I love the picture it looks pretty cool I don't know it reminds me of like a a club I don't know. Goku at a club with like, I don't know, it looks like lights from a club. I don't know, <laughs> anyway. But it's, it's cool. Um, let me know if you guys played any of these games. Um, they probably have ROMs for them and everything, but I'd, I'd never played them on ROMs or anything. Only some of the other games. Okay, so this one is Dragon Ball Z The Legend, or Dragon Ball Z Legends, whatever you know it as, for PlayStation. I haven't played this one yet, I'm going to soon. But I heard it was pretty cool, pretty cool game. The graphics are kind of interesting. I haven't played it yet, so tell me if this one's good. Next one here, the U.S. release of Ultimate Battle 22. I don't have the Japanese version yet, but here's the U.S. version. This game sucked. I hated this game. It really, really sucked. I don't know. I, thought it, it's, I don't know. I hated it. It sucked. I don't like it. But here it is for the collection. Next, I will show you some of the cartridge games. Yeah, cartridge games that I got. First, remember this, guys? Legacy of Goku? Yep. Brings back so many memories. I actually really liked this game as a kid. I played, it, played the shit out of it. Yeah, it actually has, like, the booklets and stuff inside. So, yeah, I played the shit out of this game. It was fun. I loved the whole Legacy of Goku series. Even though the first one wasn't that great, I still liked it. I enjoyed it. So, here's that one with the, the box and everything. Next one for the DS is Super Sonic Warriors 2. Pretty pretty cool. I like this game a lot, actually. I, I, I played it, and I, I think I beat it. I don't remember. It's been forever since I played it, but it was good. It was good. I have, I have a few other games that I don't have the box for, but I'm not going to show those in the video. This game for the Famicom here is actually called Dragon Ball Z 2 Gekushin Frieza, but um, most people call it just Dragon Ball Z 2. And it's kind of like a RPG game with like cards and everything, but uh, I think I played a few of these on ROMs like a, a long, long time ago. I had no idea what was going on, so I don't really, it's not really a very good judge of the game, so. But I love the box art to these, they're really cool. Um, this was released back in, um, I think, 1991, if I'm correct, yes, 1991. So it's older than me. It's cool. I love it. Okay. Next one for the Famicom is Dragon Ball 3 Goku Den. This one actually came out in 1989, so it's way older than me. And it's an RPG card-based one. And they made many of these. 
So I never played it, don't know how it's like. You can find uh, footage of the games on YouTube and everything. But I just love the way this looks and it's vintage and it's cool and I just love it. I don't know. Next one, all of you guys should know this if you're really big in Dragon Ball Z and, and, and in the games. Dragon Ball Z Super Butoden 3. Um, this game for sure I used to play as a kid on ROMs and stuff. And it was fun. I like playing them. They're good. My favorite was number two, I think. Number two was the best with the cell saga and all that. That was my favorite. I used to play these a lot. Yeah, they're cool. They're, they're fun. I, I always like these games. I think this one has the booklet. In, oh, it has a booklet in the game in there, so. I don't have a Super Famicom. This first Super Famicom to play it. But it's funny how much bigger the boxes are to the Super Famicom games. It was a really good game. I love that one. This is the only Super Putoden game that I have. And I want to get the other ones. Next US game I have here is Legacy of Goku 2, which was a big improvement on the first one. And it was fun. A awesome RPG that I had hours of fun playing as a kid. I love that I have the boxes to them. That's what I really want. I already have the game, but I freaking had to get the game again because I need the box to display it. I love them. So there's that. Next game I got at Chinatown, one of the little dinky stores. It's a bootleg game, Dragon Ball Z, it just says Dragon Ball Z. It's a bootleg off one of the RPG games, I don't know which one. I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this bootleg before. Let me know what it's based off, I forgot, I don't know which one. But it's like weird, I got it for like 10 bucks. And yeah, it's just a really not the, like a bootleg of one of the games. I don't know which one it was. It's all in Japanese. I don't know what the hell it says, but it's interesting and I love having bootlegs in my collection. So next one isn't really a game, but I remember these stupid little things that they had that didn't sell at all. But I bought it because it's Dragon Ball. And it's a Dragon Ball Advanced Video. Remember that stuff? Yeah, it's Dragon Ball GT. I think it includes two episodes on here. Yeah. A Grand Problem and Pan's Gambit. It's just basically had two episodes. You put it in your Game Boy Advance and you can watch two episodes on the go. I don't know. It it didn't very, it didn't last at all and it didn't make any money. So, but hey, um, I got it. It's not a game, but I just you know wanted to add add it to the collection. It was only like literally three bucks, so why not? Next game I got here is Dragon Ball Z Kyoshu Saiyan. It's uh, another RPG card battle game. And this one was released in 1990. And, you know, it's based off, like, the Saiyan saga with, you know, the whole Raditz. And it has a Cyberman and all that, so. Never played th this one either. I uh, love the cover. I love the way it looks. I never played the ROM of this either, so I don't know. Next one. One of the first Dragon Ball games that were was released is Dragon Ball Shenron no Nazu. Nazo, whatever. Um, yep, yeah, it came out in 1986, and that's the year my freaking sister was born. So hey, that's like 27 years old. That's vintage. And I think this is the game that, um, Dragon Power was actually based off, so. And they changed all the names around. I want that game, because it's hilarious. That was technically, I guess, the first Dragon Ball American release game, I guess, if you want to count that. But here that is. Here's Dragon Ball Z 3. Um, this is one that's based off like the whole Android saga and everything. See the box? And it's another RPG. They had they had so many RPG card-based games like this. And they were successful because they made many of them. Next game, American released. Uh, the Dragon Ball Z collectible card game. With Game Boy Advanced. I had, I remember playing this when I was a kid. I had no idea how to fucking play it. I just got it because I had Dragon Ball on the cover. I had so many Dragon Ball cards, I just never knew how to play the game or nothing. So I was just playing this, not knowing what I was doing. The card game on the Game Boy Advanced. I heard it was good though, for all the people who actually knew the card game and everything was good. Kind of like how Pokemon had their own card game like this. It's a Dragon Ball version. Next, I have, I actually have not played this either. Um, Dragon Ball Z, Super Dragon Ball Z here. Never played this game as well. Uh, I heard mixed things. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It's like an arcade kind of game. Very, very different fighting mechanics. Like, you know, it's hard to kind of play it. That's what I heard. So, never played it though. But got it for my collection. 
next one. Yes, I have. I played the crap out of it and ended up beating it back when it came out. Of course, it was the shit. It was like epic. It was awesome. I loved it. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. How can you forget that, right? Classic. I remember playing this for hours, beating it. It was awesome. It, I, I waited for a game like this for so long and it was just amazing. It's, see it in three like like three D rendering of the characters like this, not like shitty final bow, but like good. It was awesome. Next one here, a disappointment of a game. Ultimate Tenkaichi for the PS3. The whole create a character thing was pretty cool, but they needed more features on that. Gameplay was pretty eh so I never really ended up playing it much. I like this music in it though. Hopefully Battle of Z will be better. Next one, another ship pile of a game is Dragon Ball Z Connect. Yep, pretty shitty game. Lots of negative things I have heard about it. Just like, why the hell? It's very tiring. It's very stupid. You just look an idiot doing this. What the fuck is the point of? What, is, what was the point of making this a connect? Making Dragon Ball Connect anyway? Just stupid. I don't know. But hear that. Another shitty ass game that everybody fucking hates. I don't know which one's worse. Dragon Ball Z Connect or Dragon Ball Z Sagas. And I know you knew that I was gonna say this. So I don't know which one's worse. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z Sagas, such a disappointment. I thought it would be really cool just the way everything like seemed like it was gonna be like really cool and ended up being shit, so many glitches, so many bad things to it. And very very difficult at that, and it was just annoying and fuck this game sucked. And that's all the games I have with me right now. I do have the um, Tenkaichi series and all the Budokais, but I don't have them with me now. Like, they're in storage somewhere. I gotta look for them. And my favorite is Tenkaichi 3. That's my favorite game. I had uh, so many characters, and I just I had fun playing that game. I was good at it. I beat it. It was awesome. I loved it. That was a very good game. And I also don't like um, Budokai 2. Budokai 2 sucked. I hated that stupid board game thing. I just no wonder they didn't include it in the HD collection, which I don't have, which I wanted. I'm getting more vintage games. I'm getting more of the newer games that I have, that I want, you know, that I don't have. I also have the uh, Dragon Ball game for the Wii, but I don't have it with me here, so I got that too. And I also have a bunch of the Game Boy Advance games that I'll have the box too. Like Taiketsu, which people hate too. Taiketsu. Honestly, I had, a, I had, I actually thought it was pretty fun. I know. A lot of people hate it. I thought, I, I, did, I kind of enjoyed it for what it was. I'm gonna admit it. And Blue's Fury, I have that too. So, but they don't have the boxes. So, I'm not gonna show them. But I have the games, the cartridges. But I need to buy them again to get the boxes. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this, um, my little Dragon Ball game collection here as of now. Getting more stuff, getting more vintage ones, and you can find these all on eBay. Sometimes for good deals, sometimes they're a little pricey, but they're cool. Okay guys, let me know if you played any of these games, and what's your favorite Dragon Ball game, what's your least favorite Dragon Ball game. Okay guys, until my next video, peace. Check out these other links if you'd like to check out my other YouTube channels or if you would like to like my Facebook fan page.